Hey everybody, it's Kaysen again. So I am coming to you today to do another Ulta haul. Um, I know it's ridiculous. I don't need to go to Ulta so often, but I do. And every time I go, I always feel like I pick up really exciting things and I want you guys to know about them. So um, yeah, I'm just going to start with some of the less uh, exciting stuff and then get to the really good stuff at the end. So if you guys are interested in watching my Ulta haul, then just stay tuned. Okay, so the first kind of not interesting thing that I picked up were some cotton pads. These are the premium um, oval cotton pads. Uh, I, I really like these. I use these for um, removing any eye makeup after I'm done with my makeup remover wipe and also for applying my toner um, and for removing nail polish. So um, these are $3.49 at Ulta. I know you can find these at like CVS and Walgreens and things like that. Um, I'm pretty sure all the brands work just as well. So that's the first thing. Um, kind of staying in the same line. I just picked up some uh, cotton swabs. Uh, these are also the Ulta brand. And and these are uh, $2.49 Ulta. Um, I just like to have some of these handy in my bathroom and I was out so I went ahead and picked up some of those. I also picked up some of the uh, dual tipped cotton applicators and these are q-tips but I don't know if you can see um, one side of the q-tip is kind of pointed um, and it's just really good to uh, like clean up around your cuticles when you're painting your nails or to like wipe off any mascara you may get um, in places it shouldn't be. It's just like really good for makeup, nails, um, that sort of thing. So I always like to have these kind on hand for little touch-ups like that and I had run out so I picked up some more of those and these are $1.99 at Ulta. Okay so I'm going to kind of try to go through this quickly because I feel like I have several things I want to talk about. So I picked up some more of the Batiste dry shampoo. As you guys know, this is my favorite dry shampoo. They actually changed the packaging of it. I like this packaging better. It's uh, kind of sleek. It used to be white and yellow. And now it's more like silver and gold. So um, I had, I'm almost out of my one in my bathroom. So I went ahead and picked it up. And these were buy one, get one half off. So I went ahead and picked up one in the cherry scent. Um, as you guys may know, the one thing I don't like about the blonde dry shampoo is the scent is just not very good. And this one smells so good, like, oh my gosh, it smells so good, like perfume or something. So this is definitely an awesome smelling dry shampoo. So if that's kind of what gets you about dry shampoo is the scent, try this one out. This is the, um, the Batiste cherry flavored cherry scented <laughs> dry shampoo um, and I'll just probably use this more when I'm not looking to kind of cover up my roots just for like mainly even just to like make my hair smell better or something like that so I went ahead and picked one of those up and these were $7.99 and like I said they were buy one get one half off staying kind of in the same sort of area um, I picked up some uh, Skintimate Shave Gel. I have run out of my uh, shave gel. But this one is lotionized. So it's for um, it's supposed to be more moisturizing. So I'm excited to try this out. If any of you guys have ever tried this um, type of Skintimate uh, Shave Gel, please let me know. Because I'm having a lot of issues with really, really dry, itchy skin. Um, it's been going on for probably like a year now and I'll kind of get it under control for a little while and then it'll just like drive me insane again and I don't know if it's my razor or um, just like my skin is just really dry. I've tried thousands of lotions. As long as I really lotion after I get out of the shower, I'll you know use some lotion and then add baby oil to it. That tends to help a lot um, but I'm just curious of adding a better or a more moisturizing uh, shave gel will help. So I picked that up and I also picked up this. Sorry, um, I have never tried any type of like shaveless hair remover removers other than like for my eyebrows I have some wax strips. Um, but this one is from Sally Henson and it's their spray on shower 
off spray on shower off hair remover um, I guess you're just supposed to like shave it on your or spray it on you and then wait like three minutes and rinse it off while you're in the shower and it's supposed to remove your hair um, I know like back in the day when like Nair came out it was like it burnt my skin it stunk like I hated that and so I've never tried any since but um, yeah I was just curious how this would work on days where I'm just being lazy and I don't want to like shave so yeah this is what it looks like um, it's just a spray on shower off hair remover from Sally Henson and yeah it just has a spray tip applicator so um, if you guys have tried this let me know how it worked and I'll let you guys know if it was worth the money or not this was $7.99 and um, I forgot to tell you the skin to mint lotionized shave cream was uh, $4.39 so yeah okay so another bath item I picked up is the Neutrogena rain bath I love this stuff I tried it at my friend Katie's house one time and I fell in love with it she had the one that's like the brown color this is the new um, the new fragrance that they have out and it's in pear and green tea um, it's just this nice green color and it's from Neutrogena as you can see it says pear and green tea it's just a nourishing shower and bath gel this is one of those it's not really lathering um, but it just I feel like my skin feels a lot more moisturized and it's just very refreshing like on days when I'm like really hot like really hot days I love to shower with things like this because it's like the scent just like consumes the bathtub and it's just really really refreshing and this one actually smells better than the other one um, it kind of has that same scent as the regular rain bath if you guys have tried that before with just a little bit more of a sweet fruity smell underneath um, but still very clean and fresh smelling so um, yeah I'm excited to try this as well another thing I picked up is a Ulta brand uh, sheer fragrance mist I've seen these a lot and I as you know I work at the hospital and uh, we can't really wear really strong scent like perfumes and stuff a lot so I was looking for just like a body mist um, that was pretty light and good to wear during the day and I smelled this and it smells so good it reminds me of like hold on it reminds me of like one of those Bath and Body Works scents from like way back in the day like I can't even remember now what it is but yeah it's just like really I, it might be like a pink one that was out uh, sweet pea maybe yeah it might be sweet pea but it's actually called pink petals and um, yeah it's just the Ulta brand and this was um, 950 and it's a pretty large amount it's eight fluid ounces so um, just a good everyday light mist good for summer when you're not trying to like dress up just stirring like a summer day um, so yeah I'm excited about that another thing that I picked up is the macadamia deep repair mask and this is in the tube formula you guys have may have seen this in the tub formula the tub is like $33 at Ulta and this one um, was only $15 and you use such a small amount this is less than what comes in the tub this is 3.3 fluid ounces I'm not sure what the tub is um, but um, this is just a really good deep repair mask for your hair. It's so conditioning. Um, I have bought like one of the sample packs before and I loved it. And I've been wanting to pick it up but I just could not see myself paying $33 for this. And so when I saw that they had it in a little bit smaller size um, for only $15, I thought I would go ahead and pick that up. Um, I didn't even know this was out there. I thought the tub version was all there was. So, yeah, if you guys have been wanting to try that out and don't want to spend all that money, try the um, the tube version, and um, I'm sure it's exactly the same. I actually compared the ingredients in the store to make sure that they weren't just, like, slightly different, and they're the same. So I picked that up. Now getting um, more into my higher-end stuff, um, which one other thing I picked up a nail polish I picked up OPI's red lights ahead where <laughs> um, it's just a beautiful red uh, nail polish um, yeah I saw Lindsay um, her YouTube is La Femme 5278 I'll link her down below I love Lindsay she's a great YouTube 
um, beauty vlogger and she did a tutorial today or yesterday using this and I fell in love with it so I had to pick that up and I'll swatch it for you guys. Give me just a second. Okay, so I swatched this for you guys and it's right here. I'm going to kind of zoom a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, these lights are really bright so you're not getting the full effect. But um, yeah, it's just a really pretty uh, bright red, kind of like a good summery red. Um, it does have a little bit of an orange coral kind of tone to it, um, but um, still a red. So, um, yeah, I will link Lindsay's channel down below. You should check out the video she just posted where she uses this nail polish and she talks about how to get a professional salon manicure at home. Her little tips and tricks and products she likes to use. Um, so yeah, you should check out her video. Um, the main reason I went to Ulta today was to return the Tarte BB Cream that I showed you guys in my last Ulta haul. It was the best BB Cream I've ever tried, but I just realized that I don't really like BB Creams. They never give me the coverage that I want and they don't stay like I want. Um, I don't know. I just figured that for $36, I could probably just use like the drugstore ones I already have um, or one of the higher end ones I already have. Um, so I returned that and got this. This is the Benefits U Rebel. It's a tinted moisturizer. And the last time I was in Ulta, a girl was in there looking at this and I had never seen or heard about this. And she actually worked for the Ulta in Wilmington, I think it was. And she was telling me how this is her favorite. Uh, baby cream tenant moisturizer sort of product um, and they have two colors they have a darker one which is what this one is and a lighter one um, I think I could have gone with either to be honest with you I just went ahead and got the darker one because I am looking for a little bit more like color to my face for summer but as you can see this is pretty um, dark and it's just a moisturizer like this and tinted moisturizers are a little bit different than BB creams in that they're a little bit more moisturizing. Um, they are not intended so much for color, but for uh, or for coverage, but more for like adding color to your face. Um, and they have SPF in it. This has an SPF of 15. So I thought this would be good for the summer months, just to throw on when I wasn't wearing foundation. And then if I wanted more of like a full coverage foundation look. I can always apply foundation over top of this and it wouldn't be too much because this is just a moisturizer but it feels so soft like very very soft on the skin um, and it just kind of has a light sunscreen scent to it which I don't love but I think I can get over it because I'm dying to try this out. She was just raving about it and um, yeah so this is the Benefit You Rebel um, tinted moisturizer in the dark shade. Also from Benefit, I decided to go ahead and pick up their Porefessional. It's a, um, a primer for your face. You put this one before you put on your foundation and it's supposed to fill in all your pores and fine lines and just make your um, foundation application go on a lot smoother. And this box was actually a special deal they were running where you got the Porefessional primer as well as a benefit eye cream it's potent eye cream and so I was like yeah why not I need more stuff like this don't you know so this is the kind of free eye cream that it comes with so yeah it's just take it out the box for you um, it's kind of like a cute miniature sample size of the larger it's potent um, thing so it just looks like this and it's an eye cream I'm assuming you can apply this day or night um, yeah so it's a very small amount but it was only like a dollar with the uh, like the professional was thirty dollars and you got the two of these together for thirty one so I thought why not um, so this is the professional um, it's just a primer I have thousands of primers I'm hoping that this does something amazing um, I hear nothing but good things about this on YouTube. Um, if any of y'all have tried it out, please let me know. Um, but yeah, it's just like a, is it silicone? It's oil-free, lightweight, translucent, and silky. 
Um, it's a pro bomb to minimize the appearance of pores. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to minimize the appearance of pores and also make your founda foundation last longer. So it comes out of the tube almost like a tinted color, a cream tinted color. And then it's just, it smooths out onto your hands. And it's just like my hands like slipping over it. Like it's very, very slick and slippery and that's supposed to help your foundation just glide onto your face better. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm sure you guys will see this in an upcoming tutorial. Um, so yeah. So now to my most exciting purchase. Um, I have never purchased any cargo products and so I thought why not go big or go home. So I bought the like cargo kit. Um, this is the Cargo Los, Cabo Los Cabos Resort Collection. And it's a retail value of $75, but it's actually only $38 when you buy it in this kit like this. And, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, the Benefit U Rebel Moisturizer was 30 and it is uh, 50 ml. And then the Benefit Professional was 30 it's usually $30, but to get the sample eye cream was $31. Um, so, yeah. Um, this cargo kit comes with a makeup bag. I'm going to open this up and show you guys what it has inside. What really sold me on this is that cargo, some of the best products I've heard about from the cargo brand is their bronzers. And the bronzers are $30. And for $38, you could get this whole um, kit. So I thought this is a good deal. I should pick it up. And the good thing about this kit is it's all like water resistant products. So I'm hoping to do a uh, summer tutorial soon, like maybe tomorrow, for like using products when you go into the beach and stuff like that. So when I first open this, I see the water resistant bronzer. And it just comes in like these tin cans that say cargo. Like I said, I have no cargo products, but I've really been wanting to try them out. This one is just a nice, it's very, very soft, very finely milled. And I'll just swatch it for you. Looks like that. Kind of your typical bronzer. It does have some shimmer to it, so which I think would be good for summer. So I'm okay with that. I'm not really looking for another contouring bronzer. This is more like an all over face bronzer. So that came in the kit as long as well as the water resistant blush in Lost Cabos. And this reminds me a lot of the NARS Orgasm Blush. It's that pinky peach, pinky peach toned blush with some gold glitter in there. I don't know if you guys can really pick this up on camera. So yeah, this is just a beautiful, beautiful blush. I would have, I was looking into buying the large size of this. So when I saw that for um, 38, I could get the bronzer and like a smaller blush, which this will still last me a really long time with all the different blushes I have. But this one again is in the color La Los Cabos, I guess. I don't know how you say that. Um, so the third item that came in this is a Cargo Better Than Waterproof Mascara. Waterproof mascaras are great for summer, as you know, and it's just like your typical mascara wand that kind of comes to a point and has these swirled bristles. So it's kind of like a miniature mascara. So it is like a smaller size than the full size. It also comes with a lip gloss and this one is in the color Las Vegas Strip. It's kind of just like a nude gloss and yeah, can't go wrong with that. And the final product that came in this, I also swatched this before I saw this kit and I almost bought the full size of this. And so when I saw that all this was in a kit together, I was like, I have to get this. This is a eye pencil in the color charcoal and it has little blue flaked glitters in it, but it goes on so smoothly. Like, look at this. I mean, look at how like buttery that is. And it kind of dries, it dries and then like you can't get this off. I swatched it earlier and I had to scrub my hand to get it off like hard. And it's still wet so of course like it's smudging a little bit but like you can't get it off your skin for nothing. So yeah, it's like a really, really, really good 
um, eyeliner. And then of course it came in this cute little makeup bag, which I need this, like I need a hole in my head. I have like 50 of these or something crazy. So yeah, that was all I picked up at Ulta today. Again, that kit was $38 and it came with the bronzer, the blush, lip gloss, mascara, and um, waterproof eyeliner. So I hope you guys uh, found this a little bit helpful and thought of some good ideas and some stuff you, sh you should go pick up. Let me know if you've tried any of this stuff out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.